Team that stands for New Mexico. You're watching KOB4 News at 6. Mercy to the guilty is cruelty to the innocent. Haven't my son and Ahmed suffered enough? Deputies found these two teens' bodies tortured and buried in a shallow grave out on a mesa west of Rio Rancho a few years ago. They were just 14 and 15 years old. Jurors heard it was because of a drug deal gone terribly wrong. And today, the three men responsible for these brutal killings learned their fates. It was a very emotional day in court. Multiple mothers stood up before a judge advocating for their sons. And the judge calls it one of the most difficult cases he's seen in his 17-year career here. And today it was up to him to decide what punishment fits the crime. Each morning as I open the curtains on a west facing window in my home, I am hit with pangs of sadness. The West Mesa means something different to everyone. In the distance through that window, I see the familiar sight of the west side volcanoes. And it is impossible not to think about Ahmed and how his life was cut so unbelievably short in December of 2018. The loved ones of Colin Romero and Ahmed Latif had their chance to address the judge sentencing three convicted killers, Julio Almentero, Jimmy Atkins, and Stephen Goldman Jr. We miss him fiercely every single day. Latif's mother had to have a friend read her impact statement. She fled Albuquerque. I brought my family to this country to try and have a better life. Ended up being worse here. Romero's mother brought her murdered son to court in a wooden box. This is all I have left of him. My son's frightened face and screams haunt me with every step I take now. I will never get those images out of my head. She asked the judge for two life sentences for the two murdered teens. They murdered two children for their own amusement. What kind of human beings do this? Wild animals do this, monsters. These three monsters deserve to spend the rest of their natural lives in prison with no possibility of parole. My son is not a monster. Atkins' mom came to his defense. But in this case, however, we cannot help what happens to our kids while they are out on the streets, when they are hanging out with their friends. You cannot protect them from others as well as you can't help who they hang with. This is a terrible circumstance. Sisters of the murderers vouched for their brothers. Both of those boys weren't innocent either. Let's not go too far into that. Let's not go too far into that. All right. Judge Stan Whitaker calls it all tragic. No, nobody wins here. There is no winning and losing here. And he gave all three two consecutive life sentences, 60 years before they'll be eligible for parole. Almentero is the youngest of the three at 18 years old. He'll be in his 70s before he's eligible to get out of prison.